sinasabi nila sa akin na hindi ako pwede magana ng football kasi babae ako. First time ko makalaban kasi yung boys, ano, natakot ako kasi physical yung laro nila. Sasabihin nila, babae lang yung patumbahin mo, kaya mo yan, ganun. Iniisip nila na hindi kaya namin maipagsabak sa mga lalaki kasi nga babae kami. When we first started Paitas Football Club in 2011, there were really no restrictions. Any kid could play, so they all did. That was difficult at times because we'd have 60 to 80 kids playing on a basketball court at once. But there were also some positives to that. Like, for example, if we'd started a basketball team, we'd just have boys showing up. If we started a volleyball team, just girls would have shown up. Because it was new to them, there weren't the same kind of gender barriers and expectations. When we first started joining tournaments outside, sometimes other teams were surprised that our girls and boys would play together. So, the next start to football, 2011. The next start to come to football was the boys. I mean, training. Training. Just at the barangay. And then, we were playing with the other team. Tumimi may tournament kami. Sinasabi ng coach nila na babae lang yun. Kaya mo yung talunin. Na kaya mo yung patumbahin. Kasi ano, mahina lang yung lakas na. Um, sa lugar na to, dito na ako lumakay. Sinula pagkabara. Um, sa lugar na to, mahirap makakuha ng pera. Pero yung mga bawat tao nagtutulungan. Kung may problema yung bawat pamilya, nagtutulungan bawat isa. Nafe-feel ko pag maglalaro ako ng football, malayo ako. Noong po na ayaw nila akong palaruin na mag-football kasi nga babae daw ako. Pero ano, hindi ko dinadam yung sarili ko kasi ayun yung gusto ko eh. Gusto kong pasayain yung, ano, yung buhay ko na maglaro ng football. One of the new state we were part of was for under 16s and under 14s. This was mostly boys and very few girls played. Regine captain our boys team though, and Althea, her sister, captain our under 14 boys. The league had a rule that if a girl scored, it counted as two goals instead of one. They were trying to encourage more coaches to play girls, which was a good idea. Regine was top scoring the under 16s, and Althea top scoring the under 14s. They were playing against boys that are a year older than them. Uh, one of them scored twice as many goals as anyone else, and so it ended up being counted as four times as many goals because of that rule. The next year, the league changed the rule because of our girls. When I started playing football, I said to myself that maybe you gave me the goal that you start again in a new life. I don't know if it's going to be the best for you because I'm going to be a supporter. Then you continue to be your dream because you can see that your dream is that I want to finish my school because I want to help my mom 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 to help my mom. There's a long way to go. These changes don't happen overnight. They don't happen because of one match or one event. They take years of mentoring and patience and care. I don't know how this story will end. But I know Regina's already come a long way so far from where she was, and I know that now she has a chance. So our first game will be against Outcast Football Club. They won the first season of the Women's League, so they're the defending champions. While we finish bottom of the league. Outcast have a couple of national team players. They're a really established team in the Philippines, one of the best in women's football. They're also nice people. They beat us in the first season, of course, so we'll see how our girls measure up now against one of the best women's teams in the Philippines.
first goal ko nun, ano, natuwa ako na hindi ko akalain na magagawa ko yun na makakaya kong shot na malayo yung keeper. Yung pagtapos ng game, nasaya na ako sa resulta sa laro namin na hindi namin akalain na makakaya namin na pahirapan yung outcast. Pero proud ako sa mga katimates ko kasi binigay nila yung best nila at nagtutulungan kami sa loob na yun at na-enjoy namin yung game na yun. Next on Fairplay TV. There's really four pillars to a successful mentoring program. You need everything to work together for it to be successful. Minsan nag-aalala rin ako sa mga bata kasi na compare sa ibang team, mapapayat sila. Tapos parang kayang-kaya lang sila yung basi-basi naman yung mga ibang teams. 